Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about one of the deadliest diseases in the world, dengue fever. Dengue is a mosquito-borne disease that affects millions of people every year. It is a serious disease that can lead to hospitalization and even death in severe cases. So, let's dive in and learn more about dengue. What is dengue? Dengue is a viral disease that is spread by the Aedes mosquito. The virus that causes dengue fever is called the dengue virus and it is prevalent in tropical and subtropical areas of the world. How dengue spread? Dengue is primarily spread through the bite of infected Aedes mosquitoes, which are most active during the day, especially during early morning and late afternoon. The virus circulates in the blood of infected humans and can be transmitted to mosquitoes during a blood meal. Once infected, the mosquito can transmit the virus to other humans through subsequent bites. Dengue cannot be spread directly from person to person through casual contact, but it can be transmitted through blood transfusions, organ transplants, or from mother to child during pregnancy or breastfeeding. What are the symptoms of dengue? The symptoms of dengue can vary from person to person, but typically appear within four to seven days after being bitten by an infected mosquito. Some people may not experience any symptoms, while others may have mild to severe symptoms. The most common symptoms of dengue include high fever, severe headache, muscle and joint pain, pain behind the eyes, rash, nausea and vomiting, loss of appetite, fatigue. What are the fatal complications of dengue? In severe cases, dengue can lead to potentially fatal complications called dengue hemorrhagic fever, DHF, and dengue shock syndrome, DSS. Dengue hemorrhagic fever, DHF, it is a severe form of dengue fever that occurs when a person who has previously been infected with one strain of the dengue virus becomes infected again with a different strain. This second infection can trigger a strong immune response that causes damage to blood vessels and leads to bleeding, potentially causing serious complications. Symptoms of DHF include high fever, severe abdominal pain, persistent vomiting, bleeding gums, restlessness, and lethargy. Dengue shock syndrome DSS, it is a medical emergency that occurs when a person with dengue hemorrhagic fever left untreated which progressed to a more severe form of the disease called dengue shock syndrome DSS. It is characterized by severe bleeding, shock, and organ failure. Risk factors of dengue. The main risk factor for dengue fever is exposure to the Aedes mosquito, which is the primary carrier of the dengue virus. This mosquito thrives in warm, humid environments and is commonly found in urban and suburban areas. Other risk factors include 1. Travel. Travel to regions where dengue is endemic increases the risk of contracting the disease. 2. Age. Children and older adults are at a higher risk of developing severe dengue fever. 3. Immune status. Individuals with weakened immune systems, such as those with HIV or undergoing chemotherapy, are at a higher risk of contracting dengue fever. 4. Pregnancy. Pregnant women who contract dengue fever are at a higher risk of developing complications, such as premature birth and low birth weight. 5. Socioeconomic factors. Poor living conditions, lack of access to clean water, and inadequate sanitation increase the risk of mosquito breeding and the spread of dengue fever. How to prevent dengue? We will discuss effective ways to prevent the spread of dengue fever which include 1. Mosquito control. Effective mosquito control measures include eliminating standing water, which serves as a breeding ground for mosquitoes, and using insecticides and mosquito nets. 2. Personal protection measures. Use of mosquito repellent, wearing long-sleeved clothing, and avoiding outdoor activities during peak mosquito biting times, dawn and dusk, can help reduce the risk of mosquito bites. 3. Proper waste management. Proper disposal of waste, such as plastics and tires, can help prevent the accumulation of stagnant water, which is a breeding ground for mosquitoes. 4. Improved sanitation. Ensuring proper sanitation measures, such as proper sewage and waste disposal, can reduce the number of breeding sites for mosquitoes. 5. Vaccination. There is currently a vaccine, Dengivaxia available for dengue fever, which can help prevent the disease in individuals who are at risk. Conclusion. Dengue fever is a serious and potentially life-threatening disease that can be prevented through effective mosquito control measures, personal protection measures, proper waste management, improved sanitation, and vaccination. By taking these preventive measures, we can help reduce the spread of dengue fever and protect ourselves and our communities from this disease. So, that's all for today's video. We hope you found it informative and useful. 
Remember to take precautions to prevent dengue and seek medical attention if you think you may have the disease. Stay safe and healthy. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Thank you for watching.